guys welcome back shout out to any new subscribers appreciate you guys hope you're having a good week so far so possible spoilers ahead regarding the flash movie um well not really spoilers but a detail that i guess some might consider to be somewhat of a spoiler not regarding the you know overall plot or the um, ending or anything like that but just a small detail regarding dark flash so Recently, there were some images that were released of different toys for the movie. There was Barry 1, Barry 2, Michael Keaton's Batman, and seeing what those toys was a Dark Flash toy. Now, that is kind of sort of confirming that Dark Flash is probably going to end up being the villain in the film, which a lot of people have been questioning for a long time, who is supposed to be the villain, because we kind of have started figuring out over time that it was not going to be reverse Flash. So it kind of left that up in the air. But now it seems that Dark Flash will be the villain in some way. So the Flash Film News account on Twitter is sharing what they say a small tidbit regarding Dark Flash without de uh, delving deep into spoiler territory is that his suit is made out of Kryptonian material. So this is, I mean, unexpected for me. It brings up a lot of questions, right? First of all, is Dark Flash a version of Barry in another um, timeline, another multiverse, however you want to look at that? And even if he's not another version of Barry, how, like, why would he have a, a suit made of Kryptonian material? Did he, because... This kind of ties into the rumors that we have seen about seeing Zod and Feyora during the Smallville battle. Or not necessarily the Smallville battle, but seeing Zod and Feyora when they came to when they were invading Earth basically in Man of Steel, there have been a lot of reports that we will see them in the movie or we will see maybe that uh situation from a different point of view. Or, I don't know, I don't really know how it's supposed to be included in the movie, but there have been rumors and reports that we will see them. This kind of ties into that somehow, or does it tie into the fact that Supergirl is in the movie and she's a Kryptonian? I honestly don't know. I just think it's really unexpected. Clearly, whoever this Flash is stole Kryptonian material, or... I don't know. I just think it... <laughs> It opens up a lot of questions. Um, clearly, we'll find out when the movie comes out. But what do you think? I don't know. When we when the toy when the picture of that toy came out um, a few days ago or last week, the picture didn't really show. The picture that I saw was not like a full image. It was kind of just like chest and up of the of the figure, and it was very spiky and like black. Um. So, of course, like, toys, sometimes they look a little strange. They don't always look very accurate or, you know, sometimes they'll look a little weird because it's just a toy figure and sometimes they look a little strange. But people were kind of talking about the spikes and things like that. So is that because of the material or the suit that Dark Flash uses for his own suit? Does he, and alters it in some way? And why is he using Kryptonian material? Is it because it is far more, for the technology, it's far more advanced than human technology? It can withstand the heat that is created from Flash using his powers. Obviously, we won't really have any context or answers to that until the movie is actually out. But very soon we will have a trailer. Uh, there's supposed to be a trailer during Super Bowl, so we will see how that, you know, what what is presented in the trailer. I'm sure it's going to be a big topic of discussion. So in the meantime, just wanted to share that because I thought it was a little interesting and a little strange. Um, but let me know what you guys think, if you have any theories regarding this um, or just your general thoughts. But thank you guys for watching. Check out any videos or shorts you might have missed. And we'll see you guys next time.